Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at normal distribution where we're going to look at the probability of x falling between two points on the curve. So the average weight of an English Bulldog is known to be 50 pounds with a standard deviation of 3 pounds and we can assume that the weights are normally distributed. If a Bulldog is selected at random, what's the probability that it will weigh between 43.6 and 54.4 pounds? So down here we have our mean of 50 and now we have two values of x. Up top you have a value of x equal to 54.4 pounds and down here on the left we have a value of x equal to 43.6 pounds and what we want is the area in between. So just like you've done in the past we're going to now have to convert both of these values of x to z-score. So begin with my 43.6 minus the mean divided by standard deviation gives me a z of negative 2.13. Remember you expect to see this z-score being negative because 43.6 is below the mean. My other value of x was 54.4 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation gives me a z-score of 1.47. We expected this one to be positive because the 54.4 falls above the mean. Now I'm going to simply look both of these up in my normal distribution table. So I'm going to come here, pick up my 2.1, come up here, pick up my 0 0.03. The intersection is 0.4834. Takes care of that one. Now I have 1.47. So I begin with my 1.4, I pick up my 0.07, and where those two intersect is 42.92. All right, so remember we're looking for the area, total area that falls between this, this x and this x. So when I looked at my normal distribution table here, I got 0.4834 and between the mean and this value 54.4 I got 0.4292 and remember I was looking for the area between these two points and so simply we simply add those two together to get 0.9126 so when I come back up here the probability that I randomly select a bulldog and it weighs between 43.6 and 54.4 pounds is 91.26 percent. So anytime that you're solving for an area between two points on the curve and they fall on opposite sides of the mean, we simply add the two together. What happens though when we have both values of x on one side of the mean? Rather, it's both below or both above. All right, so same bulldogs, except now I want to know the probability that this randomly selected dog is going to weigh between 43.4 and 47.8. So now I'm going to locate both of my x's on the same side of the mean, and this x will become the 47.8. This x here will become the 43. 0.4 and the area that I'm interested in is this area right here. So we already know that my, the next thing I'm going to show you is me converting this x and this x to z-scores and then looking them up in normal distribution table. So here I've simply converted both values of x to the z. Remember it's always x minus the mean divided by standard deviation. And in this case I have two negative z-scores because both of my values of x fall to the left of the mean. And now I'm going to look up 2.20 and 0.73 in my normal distribution table. So my 2.20, remember I'm going to start here at 2.2. I'm going to pick up the 0 0.0, gives me 48.61 for that value of x. And for my value of x of 0.73, I'm going to pick up this 0.7, I'm going to pick up that 0.3, 
the intersection is going to be that 26.73. All right, so now I need to find, isolate this area just between this point and this point. So when we looked up the 43.4, um, converted it to an X, and looked it up, <clears throat> what we knew was that between this value of x and the mean, we had, and I'm going to put it down here, we had 0.4861% of the data. So this entire area from this point to the mean was 4861. And when we looked up this z-score, converted to z-score for the 47.8, I ended up with 0.2673. And that 2673 is here. What you can see here is that we've counted this area twice. In other words, this 2673 is contained in this 4861. So when you're solving for an area between two values on the curve, and they fall on the same side, then what we know is we use this kind of uh, mnemonic to say same side subtract. So I'm going to take the 4861. I'm going to subtract out the point 2673 that is counted twice, and I'm going to end up with 0.2188. And so now I know that this area right here between these two values of x is 0.2188, with a probability of a bulldog weighing between 43.4 and 47.8 pounds is 21.88%. So remember, when x's are on opposite sides of the mean, we add those two areas together when the x's are the same side of the mean, we're going to subtract. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.